and hello everybody welcome back it's so good of you to join me in surviving the aftermath we've just built the environmental station in the last episode and it's working now and the cool thing about this one is we also have a work area here so you know i can just reassign those people then to the other nuclear waste we could actually have three people working in that one here so three of them are now cleaning up the mess that we have in our camp here and as we can see with this one here it's already at 22 out of 30 and they bring it then over here to the nuclear waste storage where we already have um two actually two of them in here in the storage here going to fill up and of course we can't recycle that at all so well when it's full we need to build another one but we don't have that much nuclear waste here anyway so we just need to clean it up and then we have more building space here available so a cool thing there cleaning up the mess and Hopefully those people are not getting sick there while doing that. Now over here we have a an old woman has appeared in front of the gate. Let's have a look. Oh, that's an ominous sound. You're surprised to see an old woman with face like a peanut and a bent body standing in front of the gate. Nobody admits seeing her arrive. The woman cackles, interested in riddles, answer this. I'm tall when I'm born, but I'm short when I'm gone. What am I? And I think it's the candle. So, I mean, Pride would also fit in this one here, I guess. But let's take the candle. And that was right. So, a white toothless smile appears on the woman's wrinkle, wrinkly face. Aye, that's B.E. She reaches into her robe and hands you a basket filled with medicine before turning around and waddling back towards the forest. And we get 18 antibiotics with that. Strange appearance there. And she doesn't even walk away, you know, she just disappears. Who knows what that was? Who knows? Now, we just survived the nuclear fallout as well. So, at the moment, we do have quite the good resources. There also some ele electricity. And we are also still, well, getting more science points that we need. And there was an unhappy face. And I just don't know why. My people should actually... Oh, rested poorly, right? So, we need to modernize our shelters here soon. Make them a bit more beautiful there. Let's have a look at the world map first. And up here we have our three specialists once again. So this one here is on its way back to Sleepy Hollow with components. She is on her way back to exploring. And he's also coming back to Sleepy Hollow with the antibiotics. Very close now. With those action points that we have. And right, let's have a look at my research tree there. And I think with the colony, there it is, communal living. So we already have some better um, ten men here in the shanty. And education might also be a good thing. But we don't have really um, that many children at the moment. So I'm not going for that. Um, food is also not a problem so far. So I'm not going into that. Even though there are some interesting buildings over there as well. Industrial mining is really interesting. Since it gives us the extractors that we can then have with um, you know, those deep mines. And we certainly will need that. So I think we're saving up for the production here. Energy storage for the battery. And then we can go for some large solar and wind turbine. And here we can then go, go for the industrial mining. Also very interested would be interesting would be the frontier outpost. So we could actually, actually do that. So we can um, deploy those outposts in the world. And my scouts can always go to those outposts and deliver the goods directly without going back to Sleepy Hollow all the time. That is also um, very important actually to speed the whole scouting process up because I think... The map is quite big outside and we really should go for more um, places there. Now, in the with the shelters for the colony, we do need the communal living. So I'm going to research this one here now, which gives us the tenements there. Okay, so because my people don't like to rest in those emergency shelters by the name of them. They're really only for a short period of time and the tenement is a better way. It does cost me, though, quite a lot, but we shouldn't have a problem here with our resources. And, oh, the trade convoy has also arrived with the parts, I think, that we got out of this one here. And just a question here now for me. How can I transport those goods to my storage in the city? That might be interesting because the gate is filling up with lots of resources. And most of them, I don't even know this one here. Looks like a vitamin bar or something like that. Vitamin chocolate. 
Who knows what that is? Okay, right. So we need to replace some of them. I think we are going to demolish it. It's staying now anyway, so it doesn't need. You know, my people don't need it really. Um, oh, and it's gone already. That was quick. And then we can have a tenement here, a bigger building. We do have the resources for that. So my colonists can go there right away. Specialist and new trade deals are available. Let's also have a look at that. So here again, we have the... Oh, science points. Very good. Let's go with the science points. And you just need to click on them and it's already active. And for the for the town of Trinity, they are very secretive and suspicious group who are very, very of strangers on the, on the land. Um, right, so we're going for that. Takes a bit of time there, but we really do need a lot of research points. So I'm just going to focus on that. Now, I think, yeah, we can put them here again to idle on the ten uh, on the medical tent there. And we've also depleted the first medical waste here. On our process to cleaning up this camp. There's a big one here, though, that we definitely want to clean up. And this one, and this one, and that one. And then I can get rid of this environmental station there. It's not permanent. Very good. So construction on the tenement has started now. And on the world map, we also have the action points again. So she's still back on her way now to Sleepy Hollow. Still one more turn. He brings in the antibiotics. And where's she? Nadia, she's exploring new territory. Greentown. Bread. Some planks, nothing really useful. And wasteland nomads minor victory all the time i wonder if we really win because those stats look quite against me you know they've, they've got eight attack power i've got two she's got three attack power and i think he's the strongest one no not really only three as well There are the antibiotics now. Very good. So we have 42 of them. And there's the luxury building coming up now. It definitely looks a bit better than that one here. Color-wise anyway. Not that ugly green color up there. And there it's been completed. And it can actually house 8 people as opposed to the 6 of this one here. So we can also demolish this one here. Emergency shelter. And then I'm just going to have that, that one here. We do have the resources. It's also smaller, as far as I can tell. Then we build the next one. Um, Roberts is ready again. Do we have something with research points anywhere? I wonder. Yeah, we could actually attack something like that or camp. Should we risk it? It's always a victory. It doesn't matter how many skulls there are. That's a bit strange. Greentown, Trinity, there's something going on in Trinity. Oh yeah, it's the trading that we still have in effect. Let's have a look at that. So this one here has no resources, 39 components, no resources. That one is the closest one, has lots of research points. Let's go with for this one there with Roberts, right? Yeah, I think Roberts might be the best bet here. And it should be a minor victory. Let's try it out with Roberts attacking that one there. And here we can continue exploring with... Gosh, the name. Sorry, I think it was not Nadia. Nadia? Oh, there is a hospital or a police station with some medicine on board. And she's bringing in the components now. So now we have 46 components. Quite good. And she also has some attacking points, some good ones. So we could also attack something else with her. Preferably with research points, but none of them have any research points. So it's hopeless pretty much there. She's over here. So she's going to explore here. And Sari is going to explore. Yeah, over here there's still some empty space. And he's going to attack and either dies or, well, gets me some research points that we really, really need. And here we're building now the second tenement. 
Oh, that was a bad idea probably on my part because it's night now and they shouldn't stay outside during nighttime, I think. And I'm also not producing any energy here with my solar panel, but I've got two windmills, but I really would love to have a battery. And why was she showing no clothes? We do have 23 clothes available. Right, now that one is up as well. So we got two of them. That should definitely increase happiness of my population. They rested poorly still, minus five. We'll see about that. Okay, let's have the attack on the camp. I'm eager to see what happens there. Oh boy, that was, it looks successful. Yep. He didn't even lose anything. And oh yeah, they're waiting 334 research points. Very good. That was easy. Let's not get too eager here with attacking the next one right away. A convenience store. What is that? Fun boxes. Yes, we haven't had them yet. A selection of various entertainment products from the old world required by all entertainment buildings. Um, can only be found on the world map. We don't have entertainment buildings yet. But here we have them. These parts then that we need. And she's going over here. Very good. So now we are getting somewhere. It was quite easy, right? It was quite easy there. Alrighty, let's have a look here. Two deposits have been depleted. We have to check if my... Yeah, my scrapper still has something in its vicinity over there. We have the sawmill getting the wood here. Magnetic storm. The air crackles with the faint smell of ozone. Devices begin shutting down and power plants seize up one by one. Short circuit components start electric fires around the colony. Energy production shuts down. Buildings producing or consuming energy might be damaged. And build battery racks. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a bit too late to the party there with the battery racks. So this might hurt me. We'll see how many research points we can gather. And also, a quest, Innocence Lost. A small girl approaches you with watery eyes and a, an end snot running down from her nose. I can't find my cat, please. She must have run away. I can't sleep without her. She keeps me safe, the girl backs, her voice cracking. You could send someone to comp the nearby woods, but is it really worth it for the cat? We do have the manpower. Let's send the search party. If you're a colonist, venture out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but you know that success is uncertain. However, the party soon returns with a massive white cat who, judging by the scars and the rescuer's arms, wasn't too keen about the strangers. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers, the girl squeeze, embracing the cat who begins to immediately purr. And we do get two happiness there, but two colonists are injured. That's fine, we do have doctors. Um, and I really, really do like the happiness that we get from this one there. Two colonists injured with the fractured bones there. So let's have two doctors working on that. And on the world map, you are going over here. Robots, you are going to scavenge me some research points. And she's going up here. So only a hangar with some metal on board. Then we can continue here or here. This kind of looks like the road to Mordor. Something like that. And yeah, it's really a huge world map. So outposts might be very important. Because then we could build an outpost, let's say, over here. And my scout only has to return here to, to deliver his goods then in the future. So yeah. Outposts might be something that is important. Let's have a look there real quick about my energy storage. We could go for it now. Right? Stores 2000 energy. Streetlights require energy to function. And it would be on our way down here to industrial mining. And yes, let's go with the energy storage. It's the perfect timing for that. Let's build a battery for that then. Battery rack, there it is. And stores 2000 energy and we're going to have it yeah here that's a nice spot there just behind those emergency shelters 
I'm a bit worried though because we don't have that much concrete. We do need to... There is something here. Large concrete ruin and also here. So both my stockpiles should be in this area there since there's lots of concrete and we really do need it. And... Oh, there is the sick one. Okay, mm -hmm. Joshua. And he's coming in now. Being treated, so that shouldn't be a problem. And for the stockpile, we also have... Yeah, a third stockpile. I shouldn't forget about this one here. That we also have the area here. In that area. And we have two carriers. That's certainly not enough. And now we are building the battery rack. Very good, construction has begun. And I think with the doctors, they're idling, so we can also put them to idle again. So we got four carriers now doing their job. And there it is, the battery working for us now. And we are starting to store some energy there. That's important, especially for those events then. Okay, you're going over here, let's see. Another timber mill, nothing interesting. Oh, she can't go that far. And he's just going to scavenge us some more research points. So we should be... Did he get something now? Yeah, I guess he did. 189. I would really like to have more research points though. You really, really need a lot of them. Those bandit camps here are quite useless. I don't know why we... Destroy this bandit camp to reveal locations in this sector. Oh, okay. So there are more things than here appearing once we get rid of that, right? Yeah, so we probably should do that. This one here looks pretty weak there. And Roberts is, well, our hero. So he's going to attack them next. He should be quite good at that now. Small concrete has been depleted. And one more day to the magnetic storm. How much energy are we storing right now? Oh yeah, that's fine. We only really need energy for the mechanic shop right now. So it's not a big of that big of a deal if the uh, energy runs uh, low or even out. And yeah, also the second nuclear waste here is cleaned up. And now it's that, the last one here. And then we have a bit more space here. And let me just really check here. Oh yeah still have quite the capacity down here. Avery is infected. Let's get a doctor. And then let's have a look at my specialists there again. I think we still have... Yep, 34 points. Let's get them. She can now scout here. There we have the Brotherhood. They have clothes, pills. It looks like pills to me and tools. And the pharmacy over here. It's a bit annoying that they lose all their action points when scouting. Even if they're just standing right beside it. And there are some parts over there. We could use them. No, actually we are producing them ourselves. So it's not that, not that important. Avery is being treated. It sh she should be treated now, right? He's idling, but I think she lies in there. She's lying in there. Ah, now she's being treated. Okay, he was resting at something. Yeah, but the colony so far looks good. Getting better now, getting cleaner. That's important. We could probably move the work area so it affects both of those puddles there. Of nuclear waste. And yeah, magnetic storm hits us now. Today. Once again, the scouting, there are some antibiotics there, nothing we would really need from the Doomsday Militia. And he can now go down here, so we can attack then this camp here, because I want to see what this one here reveals once we destroy it.
yeah that one here is gone soon and i want to demolish that one emergency shelter and get us another tenement over here to make it even nicer and we still have enough clothes and tools so no need to assign any workers here we do have enough water and the magnetic storm hits us and as we can see this building is out of work already Alrighty, so thunder and lightning coming down on us. And why are you running around without clothes? Oh yeah, he's got one now, perfect. And we can also put this one here to idle again. Now my specialists are ready. Can we reach that camp? Nope, next turn then. She can explore up here. Nope. Just some concrete. And also some concrete collapsed high rises. 82 co uh, concrete that we would get off this one here. That is not so bad to have. So we can remember this one. And the big one here, nuclear waste, is gone now too. And there we have a power shortage. So my wheat mills are no longer working. And I'm now getting yeah, on my storage here, as we can see. So it's depleting now. And, oh, there's someone at our gates. Slavers. A large and imposing convoy of well-armed bandits approaches the gate. A couple of henchmen drags small groups of captives from the trucks while the leader addresses you. You there, behind the gate, get over here. I've got fresh batch of ego workers willing to participate in whatever you do in there. For reasonable price, of course, he barks. Trade for one captive, trade for two captives. Refuse to take part in something like that. Trade for three captives, but we do have... Oh no, we have antibiotics, okay. Um, yeah, trade for two captives, let's do that. I mean, it's a bad idea, of course, since he's a slaver. But we can free those people, you know, and they can then live in our colony and live a better life. A better life. So... I knew you got the right idea on how the world turns these days. With a simple nod from the leader, the bandit drag the rest of the desperate captives back into trucks. Enjoy your purchase. We'll be sure to visit again for more willing recruits. Oh, those poor souls there. In a weather like this. Um, but at least we got two more workers. That's all that matters, right? And the environmental station seems to be not working anymore. Oh yes, it does because we are still having some something in our storage. But battery will be running out soon. I think. 100, 80, 56 and no power anymore. So those two are no longer working. And we also got a new adult now. Brooklyn is an adult now. And... We're still having two children, so I, are they getting children, I wonder? Because it sure seems like it. Okay, let's attack the camp. Boy. Quite strong. Oh, and that reveals just something else. With 475 research points. Amazing. Very good. And we can also win this one here. 400, that's a lot. I mean, that pushes us to 600, almost 700 research points. Very good. Pharmacy, we don't need. And down here, we still have something else. Oh, some components again from the Doomsday Militia. Fine. How long is this going on? There it is. It's gone now. Let's repair the things that we have. We're producing some energy again. And my environmental station is working. Let's also move the working area. Yeah. So it affects both of them. And oh yeah, it's starting to look a lot cleaner here. We've also finished another trade for science points. So can we do it again? Nope. 
seems like this one's done now. So we could go for something else, iodine pills. I don't really need the rest here. Venison, no food, no problem here. Let's go for those pills there. And see what that is about. Perhaps we need them for something. Very good. So the battery has also been repaired and we kind of survived this magnetic storm. Wasn't that dangerous. We're just demolishing the emergency shelter here. Get another um, 10 men up. And well, I gotta say, the camp looks good. We're getting a lot of research points in now. So, Sari is going to... No, she's not going to attack anything. Scouting down here. She is scouting over here. More components, airport, and he's going to attack them. Minor victory. Yeah, short process there. And now we can scavenge 475 research points. Beautiful. That's a lot of research and new technologies that we'll soon be able to build. Stay tuned.